In time like these, we need the Bible. This message, little message entitled, In Time Like These. In time like these, we need the Bible. In time like these, we need not idle. Be very sure our anchor hold and grip the solid rock in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Ladies and gentlemen all over the world, we are sharing the word of God, especially up on YouTube, different platforms, but check out this gospel channel. I believe you will be blessed, inspired message, Holy Spirit moving gospel messages. The purpose of this Zion's Wall broadcast message is to let you know it's getting late. No time to haggle. We need the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, simple messages. No message that you have to use the dictionary to break down. But simple so that the baby can understand. Evangelist F. Baxter is up on YouTube sharing the word of God. Check it out for yourself. You'll be blessed. Share these messages with somebody in these last days. If you love gospel songs, if you love gospel messages, you will be blessed. Bible-based messages, Holy Spirit led and fed. Ladies and gentlemen, in these last days, we got to share the word of God. I know the gospel is not the most popular video, but God is not looking for popularity because God is already great. He's worldwide. He's well known. He's all over the place. Our God is omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. Our God can be in your house, my house, the White House, any other house. Our God is able to be in the courthouse and your house at the same time. He's able to open doors. Ladies and gentlemen, this message is to let you know the night is almost gone. And the day is coming on. It must be the breaking of the day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, this is just a highlight from the Zion's Wall broadcast of Evangelist F. Baxter preaching the word of God. Just a little highlight, and I uh, encourage you to check out the Gospel Channel. You will have a whole lot of messages, over 400 messages. This is just a highlight from the word of God from the Zion's Wall broadcast. Hear he the word of God. Just a little highlight. God bless you and keep you. Keep acting and living as if there was no God till it was too late. Yes, sir. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, somebody's praying and saying, Is there God? Is God still around? Yes. Yeah. He cares. You know your fears, yeah. and He will not give you more than you can bear. Thank you, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, God is still in charge. Stand by. I have a song to uplift and to encourage you to let you know in spite of what you're going through God, God is, is still, still in charge still in charge Belshazzar in Daniel 5 did not invite God no when he came to the party yes and when he came everything broke up everything got stopped Jesus we don't want God to stop us no sir so I encourage you brothers and sisters why don't we come to Jesus now don't wait for him to stop us 
The Bible said we can come freely. Revelation chapter 22 verse 17 said we can come take the water of life freely. Hallelujah. Come out of sin. Please. We may be doing something wrong. Come to God before it's too late. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Come now. Let us reason together. Don't delay. Know your sins. Be a scarlet. Don't be like sin. Belchazar. Let us not die in sin like Belchazar. Mm -hmm. Come now. Which Isaiah late. chapter 1 verse 18. Let us reason together. Hallelujah. First John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, Jesus, God is faithful and to forgive us and to cleanse us from all sins. We got to stop before it's too late. Yes. Revelation 22, verse 11. There is coming a day when the Bible said, He that is unjust, mm. let him be unjust. He that is righteous, let, let him, him be righteous. righteous. And he that is holy, let, let him be holy. And he that is filthy, let, let him be filthy. Let us come to God before it's too late. Mercy. Let us come to God. Don't be like Belshazzar. He died. The same night. And he died in his sin. Because he did something terrible. Be careful what you do when it come to the name of the Lord. Oh Lord. Be careful to disregard and, 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 and speak of God in a, in a very nasty way. Well, as if there is no God. Because God is not sleeping. Mm, Belshazzar behaved too bad. Jesus. Belshazzar thought it was all about him. Mm -hmm. Having a party. Taking the vessels of God. And, and, and doing all type of ungodly stuff. Are we doing stuff that is ungodly and rude and nasty? Oh Lord. God Jesus. is not sleeping. He's not playing. We don't want to have what happened to Belchazar happen to us. Mm -mm. Because God is still in charge. Jesus. Every man shall give account to God. Yes, sir. Jesus, have mercy. So in this message, my main point is this. The uninvited guest came in a finger motion style. Mercy. What a what a appearance. Jesus. Oh Lord have mercy. Everybody get frightened. Mm. And death came because of the terrible disregard for the things of God. Jesus. Pastors, time like elders and preachers and priests and Church bishops members. and preachers. Let's be careful. We're not taking God for a mockery. No, sir. Have mercy, Lord. But God is not playing. Jesus. God is not somebody to be played Stop with. The fight Many people the is playing and using the name of the Lord. Stop the 18. God and gossip wants them. somebody to know. Have be mercy. careful. Jesus. Don't play with this God of heaven, the creator, El Ola. Don't play with El Shaddai. Mm. Don't play with Yahweh Nisi. Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, Jesus Please. Christ, the Son of God. God is not somebody to take as a mockery. Mm. When Jesus was on the cross, they mock him. Yes. And say, if you're the king of the Jews, come down. But there is coming a day shortly from now mm. when every knee shall bow. bow. Yes, sir. Be careful. Jesus. Be careful what we're doing because Amen. God is not playing. Mm. Belshazzar in Daniel chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Die the same night because of the rudeness and the disregard for God Jesus. and the things of God. Are we showing disregard for the word of God? Mercy. Are we living and disregarding the dust? Say the Lord. Mm. Are we speaking as if the word of God don't stand anymore? Are yeah. we living as if God's word is void? Mercy. Stop it. Because God is not playing. Ananias and Sapphira found out the hard way. Let us do what 1 John 1 verse 9 said. Let us confess our sins. The Bible said, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just. So forgive us. Confess it. Stop it. And start to do the right thing. Brothers and sisters, in spite of everything, God is, is still, still in charge. Is still, in charge. is still in charge. Hallelujah. Whether you invite him or not, he, gonna he come. knows what's going on. Can't For he God. is still, is still in charge. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, if you would like the rest of that message, 
That's a wonderful highlight of a message upon YouTube from Evangelist F. Baxter, the message entitled, A Uninvited Guest Came to the Party. A Uninvited Guest Came to the Party. If you like the rest of that message, you can check it out upon YouTube by typing Evangelist F. Baxter. Check out the Gospel Channel for the rest of the message. This is just a highlight from the Zion's Wall broadcast from some of the messages up there. You will be blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this Gospel Channel is to let the world know the night is almost gone and the day is coming on. In time like these, this little message entitled, In Time Like These. And, and what do we mean in time like these? In time like these, we need the Bible in time like these, we need not idle. Be very sure our anchor hold and grip in the name of the Lord. And in spite of what you're going through, in spite of your now circumstances, remember there is power in the name of Jesus. Remember there is hope in the name of Jesus. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that there is healing in the name of Jesus. Remember the grass, widow, and the Flowers fade, but the word of God is the only thing that will prevail. If you have riches, it may fade away, or your health might, might just fade away and decay. Because as we get older, health will go. And if you even have wealth and you have no health, how happy would you be? And so we need the Lord, my brothers and sisters. This message entitled, In Time Like These, giving a highlight from the Zion's Wall, broadcast with Evangelist and Baxter encouraging everyone to check out the gospel channel gospel songs and gospel messages holy spirit moving soul searching messages check it out for yourself ladies and gentlemen in time like these indeed we need to call upon the name of the lord we need to call upon the name of the lord because there is no other name like this name called Jesus. Sweet name. Dear name. Oh, there is no other name. Like the name of Jesus. There is power in this name. Jesus. So in time like these, we need to call upon God. When you're not sure. When we are not sure of tomorrow. For today we can have everything. And tomorrow, a disaster could come and we lost everything. An accident could come, my brothers and sisters. And everything that you have, like Job, is gone in a day. So in these last days, let us call upon the Lord. The grass, widow, and the flowers fade, but the word of God stand forever. And so watchman blew the gospel trumpet. Every soul a warning give, whosoever hear the message may repent and turn and live. All preachers, all pastors, all messengers, all servants of God, keep standing on the promises of God. Keep living by the Bible, for there is no time to idle. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. Live high, his royal banner. It must not suffer loss. Ladies and gentlemen, Evangelist F. Baxter is sharing the word of God, encouraging you here, near and far, wherever you are, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. In these times of trouble, coronavirus plus, ladies and gentlemen, gas price gone out of control. Ladies and gentlemen, when there are trouble left, right, and center, I encourage you in this message, to look to the Lord. This is a highlight from the Zion's Wall broadcast. So, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to subscribe to the Zion's Wall broadcast by typing Evangelist F. Baxter up on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Help spread the gospel with others in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord, soldiers of the cross. Blessed is, blessed is he who come. Be a witness for the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what you're going through, in spite of your now circumstances, in these times of trouble, call upon the name of the Lord, for there is still hope in the name of the Lord. 
There is still power in the name of the Lord. There is still victory in the name of the Lord. I encourage you wherever you are, whatever circumstances you find yourself in, remember that prayers is the key in our hands to hope and heavens to arouse. Ladies and gentlemen, remember if, if God don't say it's over, it's not over. So in spite of what people may say, in spite of what people may have done, I encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to put God verse. I encourage you to put God verse in these troubled times. In times, ladies and gentlemen, when you have so much different outlets sharing different things, many people don't have time for the word of God. So I just want to say thank God for you stopping by to take a minute out of your busy schedule to hear a little word from the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you, be a witness for Jesus. Many people are sharing different things, but the best thing I could recommend for my brothers and sisters, everyone all over the world, is the Word of God. And the reason why I share these messages, ladies and gentlemen, because the Lord inspired deep in my mind that in these troubled times, the best thing to have or the best hope we have as mankind is found in the Lord. The best hope for Christian is found in the word of God. And so I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, to keep reading the word of God. Keep studying your Bible keep sharing the word of God and I just want to make a statement and your Christian journey let us lay aside every weight in these troubled days stop walking around the with the weight of hate with the weight of trying to to have everything just ask God to give you what you need because ladies and gentlemen the more we get it seems like the more we want let us lay aside every sin. Let us ask God to come and cleanse us with him. Let us ask God to let his grace and mercy, his forgiveness come over us. Many of us can testify we are worthy to die for our sins because we make so much mistakes time and time again. But God's Son is saying today if you hear my voice even in this little message order not your heart in these troubled days to lay aside the weight of sin the only way to do it is to come to the Lord for in life if you have an infection and you don't have the remedy for the infection how miserable our life can be but Jesus Christ's blood is the remedy for sin. For what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. In these times, let us call upon God. Like Isaiah call upon God in Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah said, woe is me. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah said in verse 5, woe is me for I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell with some people that are not better. Before we, try, before we point fingers, let us point it at ourselves first. Let us ask God to cleanse us first. Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah had to say, woe is me. He recognized that in these troubled days, instead of looking everywhere else, we need to look at self. And God came in Isaiah life and gave him a blessing because the servant took a live coal from the altar that was touched with two things, blood and fire. The coal was on the altar where they make sacrifices and the coal was touched by two things, oh friends, blood and fire. Fire representing the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And the blood representing the cleansing from sin. In these troubled days, call upon God to cleanse you and give you a revival. 
and I, Baxter, am not ashamed of asking all believers in God. Please pray for me that I'll be cleansed. Please pray for me that I will do the will of God. Pray that God will let his Holy Spirit guide leads and pray that God will open doors and pray that God's blessing will come from left, right and center. That even I, Baxter, could have more time to share the word of God in these troubled days. Once more, ladies and gentlemen. This is a highlight from the Zion's Wall of some of the things that we do upon the Zion's Wall broadcast. This is a highlight and the message in this message entitled In Time Like These Call Upon God. In time like these, call upon God. Ladies and gentlemen, to get more messages, just check out my channel by typing in Evangelist F Backs Up on YouTube. And please kindly share these messages with others. We believe somebody can be blessed by one of these messages. Keep me in prayer, ladies and gentlemen. In these troubled days, I pray that the blessings of the Lord will continue to come your way. And in spite of what you're currently going through, let me pray that the Lord will grant you a breakthrough. If somebody is sick, that the Lord, if it's his will, will heal you. Dear God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. As I share this message, dear God, I don't know who will see it. I don't know who will receive it. But I pray that this person that is hearing, seeing and listening will be blessed through the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray, oh God, that somebody will be touched. I pray that doors will be open for somebody. Somebody cup that is empty will be filled and they can testify, oh, it is Jesus that I've filled my empty cup. I pray, Lord, that somebody that is lonely and feel like no one care, the power of the Lord, your presence, oh God, will enfold him or her. I pray, Lord, that somebody will experience the Shekinah glory of the Lord. I pray that somebody will experience the healing balm, the healing power from God. For hurt have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And I pray that somebody will come and testify, I have the best deal. For when I come to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I got healed. Dear God, I pray that when this message reached this person, somebody can testify that this message was just for me. Baxter don't know me. But this message was just for me. Holy Spirit, lead this message to the right person. Lead this message to the person that need this message. In these times, let us call on your name, recognizing that there is still hope. There is still power. There is still deliverance in the powerful name of Jesus. Dear God, help us to take time to praise you, not always to be asking for something, but help us to take time to give you glory and talk of your redemption story help us to testify of where you brought us from thank you lord for what you have done in the past and thank you for what you can do and thank you for what you will do dear god somebody's going through but as they are going through i pray that your presence will be with this person that is going through in these troubled days oh god let your presence envolve us and let your glory surround us that somebody else can see that there is something different about us. Not because we're so intelligent or so good, but because of your grace and mercy that brought us true. Help us to testify and tell the world we are living this moment because of you. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you shall do. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen and amen and amen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as I close up this message, as I close up this message one more time, I want to encourage everyone, take a minute out of your busy schedule and please check out this channel by liking, subscribing. I do believe that this message can be a blessing to somebody. Wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever circumstances you are going through, I do believe in Jesus that this message can be a blessing to you. So I, Evangelist F. Baxter, encourage you to share it with somebody because yes, indeed, I believe this message 
will be a blessing to them too. Have a nice day or night. Just listen to this instrumental song. As you take some time to relax, just listen to this instrumental song. As I sign off from the Zion's Wall broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Kindly share, like, and subscribe. May the peace of God, may the grace of God enfold you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. To God be the glory, great things he have done, so love he the world that he gave us his son. In these troubled days, let's take some time to give God praise. Remember angels bow before you, heaven and earth adore you, take some time to give God praise. In time like these, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of his sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayers. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear our humble cry while millions are calling. Lord, do not pass us by. We acknowledge we are sinners saved by grace. And we stood condemned unless Jesus, God's Son, come to took are to take our place. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, go back to some of those old songs. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help we know. If you withdraw yourself from us, then where can we go? Blessed assurance, old songs. Blessed assurance in these days. In these troubled days, go back to some of these songs. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Go back to those old songs. Would you be free from your burden of sins? Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. In these times, when things are not in our favor, call upon God. Trust in God daily. Don't wait on church day to call on the name of the Lord. Don't wait and just to go to church to call on the name of the Lord, somebody. But call on the name of the Lord in these troubled days. Ladies and gentlemen, as I close off this message, this message entitled in time like these, call and God. In time like these, call on God. This is Evangelist at Baxter Sharon, just a highlight from the Zion's Wall broadcast. We have over 400 videos up there, so please subscribe, like, and share. Share this message with somebody. We believe they can be blessed. In Jesus' name, keep Evangelist at Baxter in prayer. Keep Evangelist at Baxter in prayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Have a nice day or night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless this man, bless this woman, even now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.